And self-defense, that's what a woman is claiming after two people were shot and stabbed in her Campbell County home. Tonight, a Georgia man is in critical condition at a Lynchburg hospital while the other was treated and released. Ten News reporter Magda Lusant tells us how it all went down. Yeah, real tough. Tough isn't enough to describe what Bethany Thompson experienced in her home early Tuesday morning. To be honest, I thought it was going to be my life getting taken. I've never been put in this situation at all. Never. Thompson said Jose Ortiz brought Eric Kazair, both from Georgia, to visit her boyfriend. The pair had been staying in their Brookneal home for the last two days. She says she didn't know Kazair well. But he knows that I don't like company, but he was like that they're okay, they're cool. But obviously not so great on the other hand. Police say Kazair and Ortiz got into an altercation and things escalated. The male subject is advising that he was stabbed by a friend. Thompson says the fight broke out in their front yard. Shortly after, Thompson says Kazair kicked in the house door, threatening the couple with the same knife. I was nervous as hell. You know, I have three little kids, one, two, four. So, of course, you know, I'm trying to get back in my room with them to make sure that they don't get hurt. The mother said her boyfriend repeatedly told Kazair to leave, but he wouldn't. She says with the knife in hand, Kazair lunged at her boyfriend one last time before he shot him. I mean, it was all self-defense. She says Kazair eventually left the property, walking from Marshall Street to Charlotte Street, where police found him in a neighbor's car. The subject that's got, I'm with, has got a knife, and he won't put it down. Investigators are saying this was an isolated incident, while Thompson says her boyfriend had a decision to make. Of course, you know, he's probably thinking right now, what am I looking at, what did I do? But he knows why he done it and that was to protect his family. In Campbell County, Magdala Lusant, 10 News, working for you. Deputies say charges could be filed at the end of this investigation.